guys, so today I decided to do a product review. I just bought a new foundation by Revlon, and this is the Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour, and this is the Whipped Foundation. My color is in Sand Beige, and um, I wanted to go ahead and go over it and see. I've never put it on my face before. The product's kind of interesting. It's definitely whipped. Um, the packaging is really heavy and it's really difficult to see what color you're getting in the jars because the bottom, I mean, they all look the same. So I actually bought the wrong shade at first. I opened it and was like, oh my gosh, that's so dark. So I went ahead and picked up this shade and I'm pretty sure this is going to be dead on. So it's kind of interesting. It definitely looks whipped. I haven't touched it yet. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It is. It feels... It does. It feels like whipped cream. Definitely a different consistency than a liquid foundation or even a cream foundation. It's very fluffy. Very fluffy feeling. Like, if you guys have ever seen marshmallow... What is it? Marsh Whipped marshmallows or marshmallow fluff, I think is what they call it. You can buy it in stores. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Just not as sticky as that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put it on my face, and as you can see, I actually have um, a little leftover zip mark here, actually. So besides that, I don't have anything really to cover on my face, so we're going to actually see how well it's going to cover um, with one coat first, and then we'll see if it's buildable. I'm just going to take it, I'm actually just going to take it off the lid because there's so much product on this lid. Look at this. Can you see this? Look how fluffy that is. I just stipple my brush in and it sticks to it. Interesting. So let's see. How this works out. Well, the color is definitely spot on, I would say. Wow. It's really soft. And it doesn't, um, wow, it doesn't really feel like anything, surprisingly. It's a little sticky to the touch to touch at first, but... If you guys can see, let me zoom you in here. There's the spot, and it definitely took away the redness. I mean, you can still see the bump, but that's with one coat on something that was fairly red, actually. So, I don't really have a whole lot of discoloration anywhere else on my face. Um, I do have some. I have a little freckle that's actually pretty dark on this side, and it, it even diminished the brown color of it, actually. You know how some foundations, you feel like you don't have, um, you have like a very short period of time to blend it? I feel like this is very blendable. And it doesn't leave any, doesn't really leave any streaky marks either. This is pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I tried this one out. Um, I have tried the Revlon Color Stay, just the normal one. And that's just the liquid foundation. I love, I absolutely love this foundation. That's my go-to repurchase all the time foundation. So that's what kind of was that's what kind of drew me to the Revlon Color Stay in the Whipped because I just absolutely love the staying power. Okay, so I'm back and it's I've let it sit for a few minutes, uh, about five, and it definitely has that foundation feel, but. I feel like if you were to put a little setting powder, it would be fine. 
but I like it. I really like the feeling of it. So I went ahead and put a little bit more on my brush, and I just want to see if how much better it might cover. I feel like I feel like that's even better, actually. Maybe it's my imagination. <laughs> it. I wouldn't put any more on to be honest. I think it matches my skin tone perfectly and that could be because the one I normally get from the Revlon Color Stay is Sand Beige also. This one is 180 in the liquid one and what number is it again? And it's 200 in the whipped foundation. I like it. I'm so far, I see nothing really negative about it. What I'm going to go ahead and do is do my whole face, do all my makeup, and then I'll come back and show you how it sets and how it looks. Okay, so this is the final look um, with the foundation. My eyes, I went kind of crazy today, but um, I really, I'm liking this foundation. It, it went on so smooth. It looks so flawless, and my blush and even contour just really blended in so well. I love this foundation. I think I have a new Revlon Color Stay favorite. If you guys really like this look um, on my eyes here, it's kind of a, actually, it's a majorly green. I've got some green eyeliner that fades into black eyeliner with a crazy wing going out here. If you guys like that look, comment below and let me know and I'll go ahead and recreate this look and build a tutorial off of it. So anyways, Color Stay, Revlon's Color Stay Whipped Foundation, big fan. Wanted to, get, wanted to let you guys know the price. Um, I paid, it was $13.99 at Ulta, though I believe Target has it for... It's either $11 or $12, um, but I also had a 20% off coupon on my whole purchase for this. So anyways, if you go to Ulta, it's about $13, and then Target sells it as well. My color is Sand Beige, and it's number 200. Love it, love it, love it.